This review is for the uh, Aztec airbrush. This is the A470 airbrush. Um, this particular kit is called the A4709 uh, Professional Deluxe Kit. As you can see there's a very nice uh, wooden box and inside the wooden box you get quite a bit. Here you've got the uh, plastic bodied Aztec airbrush. You've got some jars. This is a uh, side feed by the way. It can be used um, left or right handed. So you've got a couple of glass jars here, various sized paint cups, plastic paint cups. All of them have got uh, removable lids. These simply push into the side of the airbrush which I'll show you in a bit. You've got a wrench here which helps to seat the, the nozzle in, in the body of the airbrush. You've got an adapter here for 8th BSP hose. And as you can see, you've got uh, six different size nozzles. So let's have a look at the airbrush, take everything out and see what we've got. Okay, this is the A470 airbrush by uh, Aztec. Uh, I think you'll agree it's uh, absolutely completely different to anything else that we've uh, we've reviewed before. Uh, most airbrushes these days sort of tend to be, tend to look the same. I mean, there might be gravity feed, side feed or suction feed, but generally speaking, look pretty much the same. This um, is just completely different. It's as light as a feather. Um, it's got a contoured rubber grip, and it's it can be either double or single action. Now, as you can see here, this is where the uh, the cups are located into the side of the airbrush, left or right, as I said. You simply remove the stopper here and put it in the left side. Uh, blanking either either one up whichever you're not using so it's ambidextrous and um, I'll show you now the different nozzles you get and and how it works in the airbrush body so including the kit we've got six uh, nozzles as I said um, these range from um, a fine line which is the the tan coloured they're all colour coded and this is um, this is written down as a 0.3 millimeter fine detail work. Um, the black one, the black one is um, general detail. Some of these have got the needle exposed on the tip; others have um, are protected. But uh, it just depends which one you want to use for for whatever project you're on. So I'll just take the, these are all actually housed in a in a perspex case. So this is your nozzle, incorporated into the back of the nozzle is a plunger. This is pushes the uh, needle into position and inside the airbrush body that's exactly how, how everything works. The, the trigger actually pushes or releases this to allow the needle backwards and forwards. So as I said, it's uh, it is really is different to anything else you've seen. So I'll just show you how to fit the nozzle into the body, which is very easy. All you do is basically screw it into the body like that. There is a wrench you can use to actually nip it up a little bit more. I think finger tight's okay though really. So you just simply put it on there and just nip it up a little bit. And that's it. That's the nozzle seated. This one that this is the tan one, this is the, the fine line. Um, I don't know if you can see but the the needle is protected by three lugs around the end. Some of these other nozzles, um, for instance the black one. There is no protection on the end. The, the the needle is actually exposed, which is which is the way I like to work. But uh, so these can be purchased separately, the nozzles. But in this kit, I say you've got six of them, so it covers just about everything really. Okay, so that there we have the nozzle seated. Now, depending on how you have this roller set up, this airbrush becomes a single or a double action. So what I'll do is I'll. Uh, 
I'll show you now how to, how to set that up. Um, if you rotate the, the roller all the way clockwise, which is to the right, this now becomes a single action airbrush, so you press down and you'll get the paint on the air. The trigger won't come back because you've set it up for single action. Moving the roller all the way to the left, or anti-clockwise, until it stops, you've now changed this to a, a double action airbrush. Down for air, back for paint, same as any other double action airbrush. So it's a, it's a dual purpose, single or double action. So now I'll just show you how to uh, fix the various paint cups you get with it. What I've done is I've taken this one here. This is the, the largest plastic one in the kit. Um, it's got a removable lid on it. They've all got this lid on. And you do get, in each one of these, I've, I've, I see they've got a one of these blanking plugs. There's plenty in the kit, so you just think, I think they put it enough in so that uh, you don't lose too many. So they're quite easy to lose, I would imagine. So there's, there's quite a lot in the kit. There's, a, there's at least a couple in each each of the plastic cups so that's quite good as far as we go with this you simply insert it into the side bit of a twist there's no thread on it just a push fit and there you go that's in there already that's ready to go put the lid back on and that's it so there you've got your uh, your airbrush all set up If you want to put it on the other side, obviously you just pull the plug out, put it in there, and there you have it. Okay, so that's the uh, plastic cup. I've also got some glass jars, as I've said, again. Just sit in the side of the body, and there you go. So it's a very universal kit. You do get a lot of stuff in it. It's a nice and responsive um, airbrush. It's it's a lot lighter than anything you've probably used to, um, and it just takes a little bit of getting used to, simply because um, I've not picked one of these up before. So, but everything worked. Everything worked well. Um, you do get a nice fine fine spray pattern with the the correct uh, nozzle on and um, so now what I'll do is I'll just discuss this tool that you get in with the kit as I said this this is a wrench to help you uh, nip up the the nozzle I don't really know if you need it I think finger tight's okay um, there are a couple of little spigots on here one of these is to clean out any paint inside the airbrush body when you've removed the uh, the nozzle inside there you can actually remove paint with this and um, with the other one it's for actually removing any paint in the side of the airbrush hole if you've got a couple of blockages so they're basically a couple of reamers really just to clear any dry paint same with this this does the same thing okay now I'll just discuss the size of the airline Again, this is a very, very tiny thread on, the, on here. But now, obviously, they do supply this uh, this airline with the kit. So now, this here, this is just a standard uh, fitting for a for a hose um, for your compressor. But what they also supply is this brass adapter. This will reduce it down to an eighth BSP, which is the fitting I've got on my compressor. So you. You simply just screw that in. It seats against a rubber washer, and then you're ready to go with uh, either a quarter or eighth BSP fitting on your on your compressor. So that's the hose you get with the with the kit. As I said, this is a this is a really small fitting on the back here. Um, just nip it up. It's a very light uh, light hose as well, so. It doesn't get in the way or affect the balance of the airbrush at all. 
it's uh, it's right at the back so so the balance is really really good and it's, it's nice to actually have the hose completely out of the way it doesn't affect affect your grip at all just go through the size of the uh, the nozzles that are that come with this kit um, as I said the tan one which is in the airbrush body at the moment that's a, a fine line uh, nozzle that's the 0.3 millimeter we've got a, a gray gray one here that's uh, general purpose that's 0.4 millimeter we've got the black one which is uh, called the acrylic general detail that's a 0.4 millimeter the orange one is uh, medium coverage which is 0.7 millimeters and we've got the uh, the turquoise one which is the uh, which is called the high flow which is a 0.5 millimeter and uh, the white is the acrylic high flow 0.5 millimeter as well so you've got a couple that are, that are the same size on paper but the design of the nozzle will give you a different uh, different spray pattern so uh, that's about it really this is the uh, A470 um, airbrush by Aztec and uh, if you fancy something a little bit different then uh, this could well be the one for you I'll run through the Aztec Universal Airbrush Cleaning Station at the same time so it's just a way of flushing out any paint uh, from your airbrush into, into a jar just keeps everything clean and tidy in your, in, your, uh, in your workshop so I'll just show you what you get you get this uh, pretty heavy glass jar the top which has got a filter incorporated into it and uh, this locking lid so basically you just drop it into the top Okay, and there you go. Now this has got two adapters on it. This is specifically for the, the Aztec airbrush. So you just push this into position. And what you'll do now is you'll insert it into there. Pull back and flush through any, any uh, water or paint or whatever you've got in your airbrush. It's obviously collected into the jar and just keeps keeps your, uh, um, your workstation tidy so that's the um, Aztec specific adapter there and you do get a universal adapter which is a rubber rubber fitting now with that you can use any airbrush you can also use the the Aztec if you want just push it into there and just flush through any paint now with the Aztec they they recommend that you can actually have a squeezy bottle or something with some uh, flushing fluid in there just attach your bottle into there and just flush through and that'll, that'll clean any paint out of the nozzle and the, uh, and the body so that's just a good way of keeping everything clean so that's the uh, Aztec Universal Airbrush Cleaning Station with um, a universal adapter for, for any airbrush you might have.